So, these things are toxic. The first one I ate was a nurse shark. It felt kind of paralyzed. It wasn't too bad. This one, black tip. I would sit out in the sun for a couple of, couple of hours. Probably shouldn't have done that. But, um, it was cooked. And, um, tongue swole up. I felt like I had, like, fiberglass in my tongue. I took one bite of it. Two bites. Two bites maybe. My throat swole up. Then my eyes started getting swollen. It felt red. Then I started getting itchy all over. And my heart started beating fast. And I felt weak. And after about three hours, I just felt cold. Why is I haven't eaten anything? But, um... What do you call it? Scombroid, or... Starts with a C. I was looking at the bacteria or toxins. There's like a million of them. It's like viruses, constantly mutating. But I would not suggest cooking or eating any of these sharks. I took a margate, black margate, in the summertime, walked around with for four hours in a bag around my shoulder and cooked them on several, several occasions, and they're fine. It's just these freaking sharks. They're, they're not good for you. If I'd eaten more than two bites, I'd probably be in the hospital. Don't eat them around here in Brevard Barrier Reef or whatever they're calling these rocks out here. And I'll tell you what, they come out of the come out of the Indian River Lagoon. Not that would matter or anything, but I don't know where all this shit comes from. Oh. Yeah I do. Indian River Lagoon's full of stagnant water. It's like ninety degree water and all this shit grows in there. I mean, all you gotta do is spit in it, and you know, the whole the whole canal will be filled with shit. So, bacteria or whatever. I mean, not really that big of a surprise. They probably all eat each other. One dies of the bacteria, and the other just eat it off. There's like a million of them underneath the bridge. But um, yeah, I don't think we eating them anymore. And by the way, bushes. Bean home style is the only one with tomato sauce in it.